What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to focus in on Ryan Malone being a DUI and arrested for cocaine possession this morning at 3.23 a.m. here in Tampa, Florida uh, at Platt Street and Rome Avenue. I'm actually going to look up. I know I have an idea where that is, but I'm just looking it up right now. Um, it's been a tough year for Malone. I believe last year, and I, I'm not too sure this, I think he got divorced last year. I think him, he was partying too much or something along those lines, and now, you know, this happens, and uh, had it just been a DUI, you know, it's not a good thing, but you know, I think he, he can work through that. But with the cocaine possession, um, I think his NHL career is over. And I hope, for his sake, he goes out and gets help. Uh, you know, I think part of what's going to work against him is his age. You know, if he was like 25, you know, he goes to rehab, he comes back, and, um, you know, he's, he's back to being... You know, an NHL player, but 34, not getting any younger, and then this happens. Um, my biggest concern is for Ryan Malone, the person, not the hockey player, because uh, the last year has been kind of like a downward spiral for him, you know, and it's obviously affected his productivity on the ice, but that's secondary. You know, I just hope, um, again, I'm almost positive he's played his last game in the NHL, but, um, you know, hopefully he goes to rehab goes to, you know, detox, whatever, and gets himself clean. Uh, hopefully, you know, Theo Fleury, former Calgary Flame, who battled a lot of his own team, is on the phone with him, or, you know, talking to him, helping him out. Um, because this isn't, this isn't an ideal situation at all. And uh, he's been scratched the last three straight games, and uh, he'll, he'll be scratched, you know, probably indefinitely now. And, you know, as for the Lightning as a team, you don't want this going into the playoffs. You know, you got one regular season game left against the Washington Capitals. You had a great win against Columbus last night. And now it's like, oh. But I, I believe they'll stand by their teammate. They won't let him hang, you know, just leave him out to dry. And uh, he'll get through this. I, I really believe, you know, him as a person, um, you know, will be okay. And, yeah, again, I think the, the cocaine, that's a low, that's a buzzword. You don't come back from that, not in the NHL. And, uh, you know, you look at the way it affected Theo Fleury, the way it's affected, you know, I hate to sound like Nancy Reagan here, but, you know, drugs are bad. You know, and uh, you don't want to see a, an athlete that, you know, I, I looked up to when I was younger when he played for the Penguins. I actually got a Tampa Bay Lightning shirt, uh, Scherzy, Scherzy, uh, laying around somewhere. I mean, he, he's, you know, number 12, Bugsy, you know, just a great, tenacious power forward, but... Uh, you know, if you look at his, his uh, mugshot online, it's like, Jesus, he, um, it's, uh, it's not pretty. And he's listed at 250 pounds, which is, you know, really, really, really heavy. Um, and, uh, that's, that's tough, yeah. $2,000 bond for a cocaine possession, so 2500 that's actually not that much. Especially for an NHL player. It's weird. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ on Ryan Malone being uh, arrested for DUI and cocaine possession this morning in Tampa. Stay tuned for episode episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.